what's up guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel make sure you hit that like button that subscribe button and join the fam okay so basically i am in the freaking doctor's office because they think i have covid i'm about to get this covid test and i'm scared i'm scared i want to record i'm asking can i record them sticking it on my nose because i'm sick but we're gonna talk a little bit later and get into this topic because your girl ain't got COVID. It's a seasonal cough. I am seasonally sick. Stop trying to say COVID, bro. I'll be back. Okay, what's up, everybody? So, I'm in the car now. I've just left the doctor's office. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about what's been going on in my life. So, <clears throat> I already told you guys, I started a new job. It's going very, very well for me. I'm in training this week to uh, get certified to actually perform the hearing test on people. Um, this certification will follow me out of the military and all that stuff. So, um, I have recently got a flu shot, which I don't normally get flu shots. Um, I'm against it for my own reasons. Um, or not so much against it, but... I would just rather not you know what i mean because i'm not against it if i got it um but for this job and because i'm going to be in the medical field I, I i need to get this shot so um i got the shot a couple of days after let me put some chapstick on hold on guys okay so um i ended up getting the shot and me and the boys we all got our shots because Josiah needed one for daycare anyway. So I was going to have to get him one. And Baby J, I think this year they made it mandatory. Um, but every year I would usually just exempt it for him. I would do a form and exempt it. Now, I'm not going to say that I'm being a lazy mom. But with two kids, it, that's a lot to exempt because it's paperwork that's involved with that. And it's just having to go to the doctor. If you're telling them it's for... Uh, religious reasons and you have to go to the um the chaplain we call it the chaplain here and get it signed off well this year i was just i'm gonna get it just give it to them so um we got it and we got sick immediately so well for me it was like two days and then for the kids they did get sick immediately they started to cough and have cold like symptoms well, theirs went away very quickly, but mine is still here. And so, um, when I went into training this week, I did two days of training, and today is Wednesday, and I got a phone call this morning, and they're just like, we would prefer you not come into class, and we would prefer you to get the COVID, sh uh, the COVID test. Because, of course, I'm around people, and some people... Some people who already have sicknesses and stuff, you know, it's a risk for them to catch COVID. So I totally respect it. And I went this morning to get the COVID test. I've been so against getting it. If it was me just sitting at home and I had felt like I had COVID, I would not go get the COVID test. I would just sit at home and take lots of medicine that I see. Um, I mean, that I need like probiotics, vitamins, teas, Theraflu, cold congestion, nothing to suppress it, but anything to make all the mucus and stuff come up. Which That's what I have been doing. Have I been doing a good job at it? No. Sometimes I take the medicine, sometimes I won't. You know, just when I remember. But, um, so basically, the reason I had to get the COVID test is because I was in training and I was coughing. And, you know, people wanted me to get the test before I could come back to class. So, I won't go back to class because now that I got the COVID test, they kind of say, you know, some of the symptoms that you have as far as the cough and the congestion, that's under the severe um, and not so much mild symptoms. So, we're going to just give you four days off because basically I've already had this going on for 10 days. Um, COVID lives up to 14 days, so they always give you 14 days to get better. But that starts on the day that you first find out that you're sick. So I had already told them that I was sick for 10 days. So then, okay, so you need to carry out with your four days 
to um, make the 14. So that's what I'm doing now. But guys, let me just say that I feel much better because I was feeling terrible a week ago. And today, you know, I'm still coughing and I might sound sick, but I feel much better. But they did give me medicine to help with this congestion because there is a such thing as seasonal coughs, guys. There's a such thing as a, a, a regular cold. There is a such thing as catching a flu. Everything doesn't have to be COVID. And nowadays it just seems like people all the first day they think COVID, COVID, COVID. It's like, calm your fucking horses. You know what I mean? Calm your fucking horses. Sometimes it can be a seasonal cold. And I'm not saying this to the people that I'm in a class with. I'm just saying, period, just overall, because it just seemed like even if you go into the grocery store, like, you're not even welcome to cough. Like, if you cough, like, oh, my gosh, she got COVID. Why is she here? She needs to be quarantined. Like, no. There's a such thing as people getting normal colds. That never went away, guys. So, yeah, that's just my little rant. I just had to get it out. I'm looking out cute. I was supposed to go to work today, but... I'm off, so guess what that means? I got this Timmy, and I'm about to go shopping. No, I'm just playing. I don't know why I made that face, but yeah, I just, I want you guys, I'm gonna put this video out, I'm gonna go home and edit it. I just want you guys to please just say a prayer for your girl. Just let the Lord hit me and touch me and heal my, heal my body, Lord, because, you know, there's so many sad cases out here nowadays, but we gotta stay strong. Even if you feel like you got COVID, tell yourself, I'm strong. I am resilient. I can get through this. I've gotten through many more sicknesses and many more things just like this. Don't let your body fall into a funk. Don't let your body fall into, this is it. You know what I mean? If you keep telling me I got COVID, oh, I feel horrible, oh my gosh, you know, you will, your body will listen to what you say. It's just like when women think they're pregnant and they they like two days late on their period, your period is gonna keep missing those days as long as you keep telling your body, oh, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, I think I'm pregnant. Cause it's gonna think, oh, we're pregnant. Fight, fight mode, let's do this, let's do that. So I'm just saying the same thing goes for, if you feel sick, tell yourself I'm better. I'm, I've seen better days, but I am better. And you know what I mean? You can notice and acknowledge that you feel sick, but you don't don't harp on it, don't fester on it, because you want to feel better before you know it. And me, I'm not harping on it. I'm not gonna fest on it. When I felt horrible, horrible, I still didn't harp on it. I still didn't fest on it. And I'm getting better each day. So that's my word to you guys. And let me see, what else do I have to tell y'all? What do y'all got to talk about? Drop down in the comments. How have your week been going? Have you, did you think that you had COVID once upon a time? And since I'm in Germany, the cases here, I want to say they're not as high as the states, but there are some, we're up there in the numbers as far as cases and everything has been on lockdown since forever long ago like we've been on lockdown i would say for over six months we are not able to go eat inside of a restaurant we just start being able to go and get our nails done in nail shops um there are no shopping malls open and this has been going on for a while now so i haven't been exposed but maybe i have i mean when i went to get my id from the id card place there was somebody there, they did have COVID and they shut the ID card place down because somebody tested positive. And it was on the day that I went. So, you know, maybe I was exposed, maybe I wasn't. You know what I mean? COVID is such a, one of those things where it's like, if you got a cough, if you got a runny nose, only thing that separates COVID from a lot of things is a hard time breathing and tightness in your chest. But still that could be Slim in your chest that could be congestion you know what I mean all this stuff kind of runs together but be careful guys be careful alrighty so I think that's all that I had to talk to you guys about I love you guys I know that I have not been putting out the most um 
the most exciting content, but I've been putting out reality. So um, if you're here for reality, hello, I'm here too. Um, I'm not putting out stuff that I just do for fun. Um, that stuff is added to my channel, but I put out reality. This is my real life. I'm not going to get on here in a jogging suit and a sports bra acting like I'm going to go work out or like I've been working out every day. No. So, I love you guys. Thank you for the consistent, consistent um, support. My videos have been getting views and that's all that matters to me. Um, I've been going up on followers. So I thank you guys to all my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Um, hold it down for your girl. Your girl gone. As soon as this Germany open back up, you know, I'll be bringing content. Maybe I'll bring in day in my life when I start actually working because I've been in training, like I said, but I'll have my own office. And basically I'm running my own stuff. So I won't, it's not like I work with, I work with a group of people, but on a day to day basis, I'm one on one by myself. So independently working by myself so yeah this is going to be exciting i know you guys will enjoy everything that i have in store for you guys um and i really don't have nothing written down like what i'm going to show you guys it'll just be from whatever i feel is best so yeah i love you guys again if you are new to my channel you're interested in military lifestyle wife lifestyle mom lifestyle just my lifestyle, your lifestyle, her lifestyle. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like on your way out because that do help me. Alrighty, guys. Love you. Have a good day.